What it do, what it do, fam. It's your boy D. And I'm coming back with another video. Yeah, and uh, those who've been rocking with me for a while, um, thank you for returning with me and rocking with me still. And those who are new to the channel, please feel free to just to subscribe, like, comment, share the video, and don't forget to push that post bell notifications that you get every content that I drop. Amen. And um, <coughs> excuse me. I just come in with a word of encouragement. And it's coming from Thessalonians, First Thessalonians. 5 and 18 is said, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. The will of God, amen. In Christ Jesus, and everything give thanks, amen. In the midst of your storm, give thanks, amen. In the midst of your pain, give thanks. In the midst of your, you know, <clears throat> animosity, just give thanks. In the midst of anything that you don't understand and that you you know that, that's above and beyond your control give thanks because guess what god knows and everything that you go through is what's going to make you strong and it's what's going to help you build you up because without a test there's no testimony so in everything give thanks God allowed things to happen because of the fact that he's growing us up. He's strengthening us. He's not going to put more on you than you can bear because he said this is his will in Christ Jesus concerning you. So in all things give thanks. All things. Not some. Not 99. He want 100. Amen. He wants 100. He wants you all. Go back to being that living sacrifice. In Romans 12 and 1. Was that holy and acceptable unto God. Which is your reasonable service. In all things. Give thanks. Amen. Won't do no good to mope around. Won't do no good to. You know. Put yourself down and look down. Frown. You know, and he said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And uh, he also told us to count it all joy. James chapter 1 tells us, well, we count it all joy. When we fall into diverse temptation, knowing the trial of our faith, work, and patience, we're going to go through some things. We're going to have to. This Christian walk is not always easy. It's not easy, but God will bring you through. In the midst of your storm, he's not going to leave you alone. Sometimes you feel like you're walking alone, but you're not. Just like those footprints in the stand. You see one print, but that was God carrying you. That's God's prints, footprints because he's been carrying you through the storm the whole time. So with that being said, Stay encouraged, be blessed, and know God before you who can be against you. And remember, God loves you, number one, and I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. So when situations get out of your control, get above and beyond what you can handle, take your hands off, step back, and let God do his thing. It's your boy D. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours, so let's make it a great day. Till we meet again, next video. Peace.